for the moment, in, in the case of Germany, uh, not, not after World War I, but after World War II, which was a slightly different case, right. and it shows a different facet of it. Because of the, uh, Germany was then occupied by the Americans, the British, and the French, they were able to enforce price control much more effectively than a domestic government could have enforced it. And they had price control, right. widespread price control. Mm -hmm. As a result, you didn't have inflation. You just simply had money not being used. You had barter exactly. being traded. Right. And it's funny, they used, they used cigarettes as money. They used uh, 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 liquor as money, uh, cognac. Right. I've always said it's the most liquid money you've <laughs> ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Have I ever told you my story and my experience with cigarettes in Germany at that time? Shortly after this, I was, in 1950, I was assigned to the, uh, I was in Paris as an advisor to the American Marshall Plan Agency. And my wife and I and our two children in the small Quatre Chevaux drove from Paris to Frankfurt where I was going to attend a meeting over there. And we started to run out of gas along the way. Uh, and there was no gas station around. So I went off and drew up uh, this off the Eisenbahn, Autobahn, and went on to a, uh, a, a small station and got my car filled with gas, and then I wanted to pay her. Now, as it ha a woman did, and as it happened, I had French francs, U.S. dollars, British pounds, but no German marks, because I was supposed to get marks from the U.S. agency in, in Frankfurt when I got there. And she wouldn't take any of those because she said it wasn't legal. <laughs> And she said to me, haven't you kind of Vera? Haven't you any goods? <laughs> and I said, what kind of goods? And she said, coffee? And I said, no, I have no coffee. Uh, cigarettes. So we finally made a deal. I gave her a carton of cigarettes, which I had bought in the PX in Paris for a dollar, and got the gasoline, amount of gasoline, which when I got to Frankfurt, I would be able to get from the US PX for a dollar. So I gave a dollar's worth of cigarettes and gave a do got back a dollar's worth of gas. She, in turn, had the gas at the official value of the mark was worth four dollars. And she regarded the cigarettes as worth four dollars. So she got four dollars worth of cigarettes for four dollars gas. It was good for her, good for me. I always used to ask my students, where'd the three dollars go? <laughs>